The First Crusade was a monumental event in the late 11th century, one that would have profound consequences for the future of Europe and the Middle East. It was ignited by Pope Urban II's sermon at the Council of Clermont in 1095, calling upon Christians to rally in support of the Eastern Christians who were under threat from Muslim invasions, and to reclaim the Holy Land, Jerusalem, from Muslim control. When Pope Urban II made his impassioned plea to Christendom, he promised all those who participated in this divine mission full remission of their sins. This, along with a blend of religious zeal, hopes of acquiring wealth, lands, status and adventure, convinced thousands of people from different social strata to heed the Pope's call. Before the main organized armies were prepared for the journey to the Holy Land, a disorganized mass of people, led by the charismatic preacher Peter the Hermit, departed for Jerusalem. This group, often referred to as the People's Crusade, consisted mainly of peasants, although some knights and clergy were among them. Ill-prepared, they lacked the necessary supplies and logistical understanding for such a vast undertaking. The People's Crusade ended in failure, as they were massacred by the Seljuk Turks in Asia Minor in 1096. The primary forces of the First Crusade, composed of contingents from various regions of Western Europe, including France, the Low Countries, the Holy Roman Empire and Italy, organized themselves soon afterward. Several leaders emerged, including Godfrey of Bouillon, Bohemond of Taranto, Raymond IV of Toulouse and others. Unlike the People's Crusade, these forces were well armed and well provisioned, and they employed strategic plans for their campaign. Setting out on different routes, the Crusaders had to deal with various obstacles including skirmishes, disease, hunger, and the treacherous terrain. Nevertheless, they managed to capture the city of Nicaea, a significant stronghold of the Seljuk Turks in 1097. Their victory at Nicaea was a considerable morale boost for the Crusaders, and a stark signal to the Muslim world about their intentions and capabilities. Subsequently, they won a hard-fought victory at the Battle of Dorylaeum, allowing them to continue their journey across Asia Minor and into northern Syria. They laid siege to Antioch, one of the vital cities of the region, in October 1097. The siege of Antioch was a long and grueling affair that lasted into the summer of 1098, stretching the Crusaders' resources and resolve. After the city fell to the Crusaders, they were forced to defend it against a large relieving army from the Seljuk Turks. The Crusaders finally reached Jerusalem, then under the rule of the Fatimid Caliphate, in June 1099. Here they faced the formidable fortified walls of the ancient city. The siege lasted for a little more than a month before the city fell to the Crusaders. Following their victory, the Crusaders carried out a mass slaughter of Jerusalem's Muslim and Jewish inhabitants. Although such atrocities committed against the inhabitants of cities after a siege were normal in this period, by both Christians and Muslims, reports suggest the scale of the slaughter was excessive. According to eyewitness accounts, the streets of Jerusalem were filled with blood. After the fall of Jerusalem, the victorious Crusaders went on to establish four Crusader states in the region, the Kingdom of Jerusalem, the County of Edessa, the Principality of Antioch, and the County of Tripoli. These states were quite unique, being fiefdoms ruled by Western nobles but located in the heart of the Muslim world. They were to maintain a precarious existence over the next two centuries, sparking further military expeditions from Europe, known as the Crusades, whenever their existence was threatened. The First Crusade marked the start of a series of religiously motivated military campaigns that would last for centuries. These campaigns led to an extended period of conflict and interaction between Christendom and the Muslim world, significantly influencing the course of history in both regions.